All right, what is going on, guys? Today, we are watching Zombieland Saga episode 11 and episode 12 to finish off season one. Uh, I'm looking forward to this. Obviously, in the last episode, we had, well, kind of the main point of the episode was the final part, which showed uh, Sakura being once again hit by a car, which I thought was hilarious. But then it turns out that uh, she has somehow gotten amnesia from this, it would seem. Um, so that is, it's kind of a big deal considering they've got a big kind of, uh, solo concert coming up right soon. Uh, I believe it's in like seven days or something like that in world time. I'm not sure. Uh, so yeah, hopefully this is sorted before then, but it feels like we're going to get some revelations as well, considering a big part of the series so far, well, small, but kind of big part of the series so far has been about Sakura's kind of foggy memory. Um, but yeah, uh, very excited for this, so I'm going to get straight into it. As always, guys, if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button and I'll like the video as well. And uh, let's go into this episode right now. This is like the first episode where she was just obviously woke up alone while it was raining in this house. Has she like forgotten that she's a zombie, I guess? It would seem so. Why <laughs> she stood on Lily? <laughs> oh, fell on Saki, of course. Why do they all look so much more zombified when uh, nobody's lo well, nobody knows about these zombies? Wait, why? Did what was wrong with I right there? Was I scared of the lightning or something, or she's scared of the the stick? Shall I try slapping some sense into her? Oh my god, Ty, chill out. Why is Ty so obsessed with Sakura right now? Now she's woke up. Everybody else is in makeup, but she isn't. Okay, interesting. So she has all her memories back from when she was alive, but not from when she's a zombie, it would seem. Yeah, it's a bit hard to understand, I guess. Yeah, she remembers that. Interesting as well, because though the original accident, it looks like the same truck, but we can't see like the person inside. Yeah, definitely. Mm. Oh, this is sad, man. How is she gonna get her memories back? Oh, she must know that place. Yeah, because she has memories of being there in the crowd for Ai's concert. Is she going to mention that, though? Why does she think she doesn't have what it takes, though? Like, these past memories are, like, reconfiguring her kind of confidence in this whole thing, it would seem. Where the goddamn hell is Kotaro, man? Oh, here he is, in a bar. I Kotaro is kind of an interesting character, if, if thinking about it, like, I need to know more about him. Is this guy eating squid? Does that make him a zombie? Or is he just like squid? Oh, look at Tai in the corner as well. Even she's bummed out. Oh, nobody can sleep. Where's Sakura sleeping? Oh, Ty's fucking sound asleep. Bro, how are they going to get her back into this, man? Bro, they span her head. Holy shit. Why is this spinning for so long? <laughs> Everybody's just making up excuses, yeah? Yeah, that didn't really work, did it, Junko? You go for it, Lily. See if you can do it. Why can't y'all just be like, hey, I'm going to go talk to Sakura? <laughs> well, do I look cute? It's kind of freaking big on you. <laughs> Bro, she's bombing everybody out. <laughs> Damn, Sakura's brutal right now. Apply my trade. Okay. Bro, what is you giddy doing here? A fucking geisha mode? You're walking hella slow. Where the frickin' hell did she go? 
<laughs> then pulling up to the bar to pick him up. Oh my god, every time. Why are you thinking yourself like this, Sakura? What's going on? Let me guess, you screwed up because plays when you're in grade school never go right. But that's the fun of it. Oh, when she got sick. I mean, that's not your fault. Did she get sick again? Oh, Jesus Christ. Bro, she's just so accident prone. Life just hands her bad luck. Bro, how does this happen? Holy shit, dude. Did it work? Before the real deal. No freaking way, dude. She's actually hella unlucky. This is supposed to be, like, sad, but it's just, it's just kind of funny. But she's been doing idle stuff up until now, hasn't she? I mean, if I remember correctly, was it her that kind of messed up in the first street performance? But other than that, she's been fine, I think. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, you can't get better. Without failure. And now I'm a freaking zombie. Yeah. Oh, of course the fucking police officer is here again. Bro, he's gonna fucking put one in her again, I swear to god. Can you not calm down, sir? Holy shit. Who gave you a gun? <laughs> That's a me, Kotaro! <laughs> The dog looks so fucking creepy. Yeah. That was kind of a sweet thing he said right there. You don't have the slightest wish. No, of course you can't. I want I to know that Sakura was such a big fan of her. That'd be so sweet. And she's like an inspiration too. Oh, and she was gonna... Oh, that's what that was. It was like a submission to be a part of her squad. Oh. Oh, man. A time will come when you'll understand. Kotaro knows something. You don't have to rub it in. Oh. Thought I was done, huh? <laughs> I actually thought he just walked off. Really big and impressive thing. Oh, yeah. Okay, so that was episode 11. Uh, not a lot to say there, uh, but it seems like a good idea of me to have actually watched both these episodes together because they do kind of fit well. Um, yeah, really, Sakura really seems to be really bummed out there. Uh, no confidence in herself due to the fact that in her past life, she just seems to have had very bad luck with everything. Um, yeah. Overall, very good episode, and I'm looking forward to episode episode 12 now, so let's get straight into that right now. RP no concert, four days before. Okay. <laughs> She's not, like, afraid of him every morning now. She's just pissed off of him. Right now, I guess she's just watching them do the choreography. Maybe it'll come back to them. I don't know. Oh, she's remembering fragments of it. Nice. <laughs> this is the roundabout that she got yeeted off. Is this Ty? Okay. <laughs> oh, Ty can be sweet as well. Three days before. Oh, gosh. Aw. See, you got fans. Come on, you can't let them down. <laughs> oh, that's cute. I wonder if they shook her hand and they were like, damn, this bitch is cold. <laughs> or maybe because of the gloves, probably not. What is it? Oh, Ty. You're so sweet. I really want to be able to, I want I want Ty to be able to speak. I think like Ty is like being really serious about this. She's trying to get her words out, but she can't. Is she crying? Or is she drooling? 
<laughs> oh my god, Ty. <laughs> For God's sake. Why does she want to munch on you so much? What the hell is going on? What did she say? What did she say? Oh, and she was the one that taught Ty. Oh, this is sweet, man. Fucking goddamn eyes I feel like they're about to cry. <laughs> like, Saki is the leader of the group, but Sakura is like... The biggest moral support, I think. What the hell is... What is that face? <laughs> ooh, that is a fucking oof right there. Hey, you get a slap, let's go. It is selfish and indulgent, yes. But fuck it, you're gonna dance with us. Oh yeah, bro, these are your friends, come on. Of course they want you there. Exactly. You are the glue. Let's go. That's awesome. Hmm. Aw. That line that she really loves. It shades his ass on the line. <laughs> One day before. Oh gosh. Did she actually do it well? Nice. Wait, what? Why did that just crack? Yo. <laughs> oh, I'm so hyped to see this concert, man. Oh, all sleeping together. That's freaking cute. Oh, shit. They're going to get a storm? Oh, God. Ooh. Go to the backstory. Wait, what? No fucking way were they in the same class. Holy shit. That didn't even occur to me that they would have been about the same age. I can't believe some sunglasses is all this dude needs for uh, Sakura to not recognize him. This is bad for a concert with this weather. Oh, I like their outfits. Nice. Yeah, it was the same though. Everything went per perfect in rehearsal. Like it was in a past life as well, but then it screwed up on the day. Oh, Lily's dad's there as well. Yeah, re reward their dedication. That's awesome. Let's go. Come on. It's so crazy. She's performing now where she saw I. Hey, fucking yo, is the roof going to break? Hey, let's go. She's still got the muscle memory of it. And she knows the song as well. Oh my god. Keep going. It's alright, it's just a broken window. It's just all the snow getting in and shit. Okay. Okay. That might be a bit too much. This is hella dangerous. Jesus. Yeah. Maybe this is where we call it quits. That they're still going to keep going. Are they okay? Maybe she is just horrendously unlucky. Is this Kotaro? Oh, yes. They're doing without music too? Let's go. Bro, this is so much more interesting, uh, Kotaro's character now. Knowing what we know about him apparently knowing Sakura. It's crazy that they're keeping going. Bro, they're gonna go fucking viral off this. Like, crazy shit. Let's go, Sakura. Oh, this is really freaking good. I'm happy. Hopefully she kind of regains all of her memories from here. But she keeps her memories from the past as well. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> that was awesome. Bro, they, they better explode in popularity from this. Alright, now get everybody out of here because this fucking building's gonna collapse. <laughs> yeah, Ty just chewing on her. <laughs> Are they gonna do an encore? <laughs> Give that crowd what they want. This is another new song. Let's go. 
I love that kind of different uh, styles and stuff they mix into their choreography and songs and stuff. Who's this? Who's this group? Let's go. So good. Good morning. <laughs> oh, what does he notice now? Oh, he's really getting onto it. All right, and that was Zombieland Saga episode 12. That was a really freaking good ending. Uh, crazy shit was happening there with the, uh, the the kind of venue. But they carried on. Uh, that shit's gonna, going viral. Um, a lot of people have, uh, or, well, the, the editorial kind of photographers and stuff like that look like they're starting to catch on to this. Um, I'm mostly excited about the part where Kotaro is apparently a classmate of Sakura's from back in the day. So what kind of link they have together there, I'm not sure. She was kind of giving him... Uh, a CD of Iron Frill, I believe. Uh, so, Eyes Group. Um, so, it kind of links together there, which is interesting. This was kind of, you know, preordained from the start, I guess, where she kind of showed him idols, I suppose, is what I'm getting from this. Um, how the hell he went about digging them all up and then bringing them back from the dead, though, I'm not sure. But, um, yeah, I guess we'll find out at some point in the future. Uh, really excited, I'm oh, sorry, not really excited, really enjoyed season one of this. Um, I will let you guys know if I'm going to continue on with season two on the channel or just in my own time. Um, but yeah, I want to thank you guys so much for watching along with me this season, guys. I really appreciate it. Like the video if you like the video and subscribe to the channel if you are new and peace out, guys.